Hey what's up guys it's me Masik Tech and this is the Asus Zenfone 2. Today in this video I will show you how to install stock ROM in this device. So as per many people's request I am just making this video. So currently I am on custom ROM Synergy Mode 13. So my device model is Z00A and you can do this process with the other Zenfone models also. Zenfone 2 models, Zenfone 2 Laser, Deluxe also. And also make sure the battery must be charged up to 80% or more because this is a little bit lengthy process. And next I will show you which files you have to download in your computer and also where you have to put that and how to install that. So next we will see that. So first of all open your web browser and go to asus.com website. And then go to products, Zenfone, Zenfone 2 performance and then pick up your device which you have. My device is ZD551ML, this one. So I am just downloading all the files of this one and also go to the support button from the right hand side option and now go to this drivers and tools and I just copied this link and pasting in the description box so may no need to worry if you have this model then you can go directly from my link now selecting android go to this firmware option and we have to download the stock rom from here so now there's too many files are here so which one we have to download we have to download our phone model according to our phone model and according to our country so in india my device is wwsku not the jp or cucc sku model so we will search for the latest ww here it is wwsku model so we have to download that one not the other one if your device has different model you can download of that it depends on different countries and also just click on this global button to download and then download it I have already downloaded that file so I am not downloading it again now this is the ROM file here so now just open it with the WinRare application and then extract only these two specific files boot android boot.img these are the two files which we need to extract only these two not the whole ROM and also don't delete the ROM later after extracting this file because we need the whole ROM to install the stock ROM now here it is also you need to download some other files and applications and also the recovery file so here it is the recovery file we need to download this from the link in the description box also is a link so we need to copy and just paste this recovery file here and I have just put it the recovery file of this ROM version the same ROM version the same recovery file not the other one so you have to also uh, be sure to that not to uh, copy the recovery file of the other other model or other version now install this driver also intel and adb drivers i have already installed it so i am not installing the intel drivers and now this is the adb drivers here now type capital y to install it now hit enter now type capital y again hit enter now type this three times and it will be installed now this is the command file you have to download this command file or you can just type manually like me. Now you have to also install this minimal adb and fast boot. So just open it and install this minimal adb and fast boot. And also remember where it is installing. It is installing in local list C program file 86 minimal adb and fast boot folder because we have to go to that location. So I have already installed it so I am not installing it again. Now copy these three files and paste in the minimal adb and fastboot folder in the local C. And copy that and paste it in the local C minimal adb and fastboot. Here it is. So paste it here. Now click on continue. We need to give some permission here and also you can check this for do for all this now click on continue and paste it so here it is now we have to also copy the stock rom file and paste it in that same uh, minimal adb and fastboot folder so paste this also so we have pasted that now come back to your phone and connect it to the pc with the micro usb cable and also enable usb debugging in your smartphone so shift plus right click of mouse now open command window here type adb devices allow it from the phone hit ok now type adb reboot bootloader 
so our device will go into the bootloader mode here it is now we need to connect uh, remain connected to the pc and now we can close that window or you can open the new window typing fastboot devices so our device has been listed here means our device is connected now type the first command which is the recovery command we have to flash first of all the recovery and do this in the sequence otherwise uh, this can be dangerous if you flash other command first and the first command later on so we have to type fastboot flash recovery and then space and then name of the recovery file note the recovery word dot img hit enter now the recovery file is flashed so we will flash the second command which is the boot fastboot flash boot boot dot img i am just copying this whole command because the boot dot img is already here the name is already boot so no need to change the name so hit enter again after pasting this now next we will flash the droid boot command which is the bootloader command now copy this and paste this hit enter now it's flashed so now we will just remove this usb cable and go to the recovery mode by just scrolling from the volume down or up key we can just scroll here recovery mode and then hit the power button to select that so now we will go into the recovery mode wait for a few seconds so now our device has gone to the recovery mode but it shows an error so i already make that video how you can go to the recovery mode volume up key power key and leave at the same time so now just scroll down and select uh, apply update from adb so the apply update from adb is on the second option now select that and hit power button to select it now connect this phone to the pc now so here it is also showing that uh, it's in adb side load mode so we can also use adb commands to check our device has been connected or not by typing adb devices so now open the command window hold shift on the keyboard right click and now type adb side load space name of the rom file dot zip which is the program file 86 minimal adb and fastboot then hit enter and it will side loading the rom file and it will take approximately 15 to 20 minutes and it will stuck at 52 percent for about five minutes and now it's completed here so now we can just remove this usb cable when it's completed and now go to this five data factory reset we have to do that because you will face low memory problem or you can face setup wizard error also so we have to just factory reset this and it will also take 15 to 20 minutes and you cannot put your phone on charge also in this mode so make sure to charge your phone before this process now selecting here uh, reboot system now so the files and everything is flashed completely into this phone now we will just quickly set this up and it will also take few minutes for the first boot now selecting our language and i am just skipping all this option and we will continue after that so we have just completed the setup wizard from here and now the phone is in stock rom pure stock rom of the asus zenfone 2 this is the original one so this is the whole video of installing the stock rom in the zenfone 2 as per many people request i make this video and you can also just flash the sinus 130 again if you want to flash that so this is the stock rom here and also one of the thing i want to tell you that uh, pokemon go is working on this stock rom not the sinus 13 in the asus zenfone 2 so this is the whole video of this stock rom so thank you guys for watching if you like this video hit the like button and subscribe this channel for more videos if you already haven't and if you have any type of question about this video you can put them in the comment box and i will see you in my next video